tonight I'm going to be showing you a very quick way to make a delicious soup. So this is one of my favorite soups. It's a lentil and vegetable minestrone soup and I'll start by telling you the ingredients. This is one of my very favorite things to buy at Trader Joe's. It's called mirepoix and it's a mixture of chopped carrots, onions, and celery. So instead of sitting here chopping all night, you just toss the entire thing into the pan. And then these steamed lentils from Trader Joe's. Um, we'll probably use the entire box of them and then I'll just keep the soup to bring to work throughout the week. I'm going to use my favorite, these uh, garlic and basil cubes that are frozen to just throw in the pot with the soup. I have some diced tomatoes, some chicken broth, parmesan, kale, and then I'm going to use some brown rice gluten-free pasta because I've had a lot of requests to make some gluten-free meals. So we're going to head over to the stove and throw it all in. First I'm going to heat some olive oil in our pot, just about a tablespoon. I'm going to add one garlic cube. You can also use fresh garlic if you just chop up one clove and then a basil cube. And we're just going to let that heat and melt a bit. I'm going to toss in my mirepoix. This is the perfect base of any soup, is to get this mirepoix. It just adds a ton of flavor and it's super convenient. I'm going to add a little bit of my vegetable broth, just so that my veggies in there have some liquid to um, soften in. And then I'm going to add my package of steamed lentils. I'm going to pour in the rest of my chicken broth. It's probably about three to four cups of chicken broth. Then I'm going to pour in one can of diced tomatoes. I'm going to mix it up. You can see all those nice colors in there. This is just the healthiest soup. And then I like to add kale to it. You can also add um, spinach. You can add Swiss chard, um, any kind of greens that you want to add. Just with kale, you want to be careful not to have all these stems in there, so make sure that you get the big ones. Now I'm going to add in my gluten-free elbow noodles and then and they basically just cook in the soup broth. And I'm just going to cover it and bring it to a boil and then I'll simmer it for a little while, probably about 45 minutes. The longer that you can let it simmer, the better. It'll be more flavorful. And then it's good to go. How easy is that? So my lentil minestrone soup is all done. I'm just going to garnish it with a little bit of chopped Italian flat leaf parsley, some parmesan, and a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'll taste it and make sure it's good. I love the soup. It's the quickest thing to throw together. It's so healthy. All the ingredients are really good for you. And it's the perfect thing to have on a weeknight. Thanks for joining me on Weeknight Bite.